Hey guys, what's up, Stephanie? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with another episode of Baldur's Gate 3. I cannot stop playing this game. At this point, I'm probably... Oh, I'm walking around as uh, Gail. I am literally probably recording episode upon episodes ahead of what I'm actually posting on the channel because uh, I cannot stop playing. But to start off this episode, I respect Gail. He is now a necromancy wizard. I'm trying to make like everybody kind of like, I'm trying to switch things up from my last playthrough, which obviously you guys didn't see because I played it by myself. But um, my last playthrough, I kept everything the same. I didn't respect anybody. This time around though, I was like, okay, like if I'm doing a dark urge, maybe I should do a little bit more of a darker kind of specs for everybody. So. Gale is now a necromancy wizard, so hopefully that is exciting. Um, a Starian here I expect a while ago, but he is a rogue monk, which in actuality I need to respect him right now because I didn't do it right. Okay, so I, I um, redid a Starian's thing because I accidentally messed it up last time. Hold on, let me go this around. So now he has, um, before I messed it up, I accidentally put him level four monk and level one rogue. Now he's more evened out. The next one will be a level up um, in the rogue or the monk. Okay, so now that we have done all of that, we're going to go down here, yes, and go to the tower that is over here. The game's still loading in a little bit, but. All right, we obviously want to stay away from these things. Uh, but let's... Oh my god. Oh, whoa, whoa. Run, run! Oh my god, how did that happen? Take much more. <laughs> How did that happen? What's with this music? It's stressing me out. One favor, one faithful servant, that is all I summon. No more, no less than Malice Do Do Urden ever had, or indeed the mother of lust herself. The Yolch Yolch Lull was quite a sight in all its forms. I read it read of its foul order odor but i found it intoxicating like rose water so i smashed a few artifacts hissed that the master the archmage should have revered me for such a conjuring and said he threatened to curse me to make me drier yet my time still comes soon i will return to menzo baranzin and a sorcery then the archmage will worship me i will be served maybe we could speak to her I can. The corpse regards you. And whatever. Lovelessly. Who are you? House Vandry. Far scout. Searching. What were you searching for? Path to surface. Mm. What happened to you? Through backpack. Too light. Fell. Uh, how throwing a backpack in people? Disappear. Guessed wrong. Did you have any allies nearby? Worked alone. Better that way. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Okay. Scorch ground. Better watch oh, out. Run. Speak. No, that's not what I meant to do. I don't know where the waypoint's at. But Oh my god, it sees him. Hurry <laughs> eyed. Oh my god, uh, what happened? <laughs> Where is the waypoint? 
change of plan. We need to go and get the I'll give up now. The flowers. Um yeah. Oh, and we forgot to get the bark from the tree. Oops. All right, come on, guys. I freaking had to Google that. A lot, though. But hey, if you manage to figure that out without Googling it, you're a genius. I don't know if you're coming back, if you'll ever read this message, but if you do come back, could you wait for me? I'll only be gone a few 10 days, but the thought of coming back to this empty tower with nothing but Bernard to fill these halls I don't know how much longer I could take this. I miss you. I miss you so much. I can't shake the thought of how different things might have been if only I'd been less summer. Stubborn. Working on your light, lightning inventions, my magic. Lightning inventions, my magic. Eating together, laughing at your stupid puns, waking up next to you despite everything. I still love you. So please, if you read this, can you wait? I'll be back. I won't be long. Forever yours, Lenore. I waited. I waited until Tarsh, Tarsak. I'll always wait for you, but you didn't come. Oh, don't I need one more? I think there's two in here. Actually, we can take that one, I'm assuming. I say so too. Still alive, progress. Oh, go. Should mind my step. Uh, okay, I'm going to do this. Uh, hello? We're in turn base mode. Yep. Run, 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 run. Okay, now I need you to run down here and grab that one. Bye. All right. I need more pockets. All right, throw. Thank you. Amazing. Exit turn base. Okay, cool. You guys get in here. What's in here? Oh god, broken machinery, okay? Potions, great, let's send this to Gale. Struggling over there. Ew, all the bugs, nasty. Dusty book. Okay, doesn't want me to just read it, wants me to pick it up. Beginning of this book probably declares it has been by Demonia. There is light in every living thing. It's crawling towards the surface, surviving. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, look at that view. Beautiful. You radiate from that chest. What? Good thing I've gotten Featherfall.
Alright. Get some light in here. Tongue of madness. That's one of the things we need. Or Omelion, or whatever his name is. I know, I need to stop picking up stuff. I need to let the others pick stuff up. Red Bear Book. How can I trust? How will I ever know? How can I show up myself, my darkest me? Why is it broken? You're powered by magic. For goodness sake. <laughs> He's so sassy. Alright, that is not the way to go. That's the way we just came. Maybe this way. Mm, maybe not. Which way am I supposed to go? Or am I supposed to keep going down over here? Oh yeah, I am. Okay. Come back over here. Uh, Miss Featherfall. I don't know how you would do this without Featherfall. I guess you would just get hurt. That's curious. Isn't it? Ugh, we did have that spell, but I uh respect. So now I don't. Away from water deep. There you go. All better. Alright, what now? That's fine. It probably just leads into down here anyway. Oh, they have somewhere here. I didn't even need to go. I mean, eh, technically I did, because... That's curious. Good thing Lozale's here, because none of y'all know how to survive, apparently. Alright, what's in the chest? Amazing. Okay. Let's go inside. Seems simple enough. It does, doesn't it? It's locked. Sorry, in my beautiful, beautiful man. I do have guidance. Oh, it's probably I had the flower. One step at a time. Treaties on the anti-magic properties of sister tree flowers. For those knowing about sister trees, their magical properties have always been a topic of debate, not only the ability to creep anti-magic aura, which was complete enough that even those unattuned to the weave can feel its effect, but also the most interesting interestingly to those living in the world above. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, this would have been good to like read not right now, like earlier. Like now, obviously, I already got through. Uh, do they want me to put another sister flower in here? I'm assuming that's why the little petals are there. I gotta go grab one. Okay. Here you go. Amazing. We're geniuses. Was back on. Perfect, perfect. Oh, what am I doing? We can literally go in- wait, the elevator? Oh, we can go up these stairs. Elminster. Over the la- over the past year, I've delivered many of your letters to Master Gorion, so I wanted to be- 
will be one of the deliverer of the sad news. Alas, he is with us no more. Gorion and his ward left Candlekeep soon after your last letter to him arrived. They departed in the middle of the night. The day after the road, the Burgos, the gate, and, gate warden told, told me that Gorion saw to it several of his attackers joined him in the next world before he was struck down. I hope that brings you some grim comfort if it brings it brings me. Of his ward, there was no sign. Hope you forgive my curious about my ass. How do you keep so much information out of a ball spot? What exactly are you working on? Ooh. Interesting. Is there anything else here we want to look at? Alright, let's ascend. Alright, we've been here already. We've been here already. Never a dull moment. Uh, alright, let's save. The music is starting to stress me out a little bit. Moving ahead. Oh no, I think this is gonna be just more looting right now. Don't touch me. Yes, please. Thank you. Let's move. The careful art of Tirsu something. The silence stretches on. I'm all alone. Please, can I hold your hand just for a while? From Barra Cure, we made our stand. Meant to be rule of the stray book and technical and work in hand. The world belongs to the gray. Orendal stole all we had, yet taught the weapons by which we slave. Forge your minds to ironclad. The world belongs to the gray. The exile freed us with his command. The conqueror, conqueror was, was taken away. All right, I don't like poems. Oral histories of Faerun, Gith and Mind Flayers, ooh. It took me several 10 days of quiet and hab habitation in the wood before the ver venerable Kalidor felt comfortable revealing his presence to me. The longer I stayed demonstrating I was no threat to his health and peace, the more open he was to gentle inquiry. This tale relayed to me on a chilly morning as we stoked the small fire between us. It was none like I had before or since. I asked if it were fiction and he insisted empathet empathically. Empathically. Oh my god, I cannot talk. It was a true as a his own right eye. Long ago, before my eyes and ears, before your lonesome quill, dear scribe, there was an empire of people, or perhaps only believe, an empire of brain eaters, soul wasters, they called themselves elithids, the flayer of minds. The children of Gith were bowed, bent in service to the flayers, a passionate people, made to serve a cold belief. The flayers were untouchable, their minds a great oppressor. No proud will or passion could break Gith's children free. Until at last, a reckoning, its source unknown, its power unproven, but events, history making the, co the cowed, would not be correct. Is that how you say that word? The cowed. Gith's children fought back valiantly. Their freedom theirs. Their flares bent and broke until today. Engraved Gith Yankee disc. A disc appears in your mind's eye. Lazel sees it too and considers the vision. Tissu markings. Ancient. I recognize them, but I can't make sense. No. Wait. The texts are enciphered, but I've solved the pattern. It's a story about... about Orpheus. Orpheus. Your head buzzes in concert with Lazelle's, but it hardly matters. Even without the connection, you'd recognize her discomfort. Who's Orpheus? A traitor. A dead one. This text is heresy. I can hardly bear to read it, let alone speak it. Very well. You'll bear it just fine. Tell me what it says. <laughs> the Prince of the Comet, Part One. So it was that we were free from geich shackles and turned our blades on each other. The heavens were shattered, and one great empire was divided in two. Gith traveled to the Hells to broker help for her people, her cause. Vlakith would have you believe Mother Gith proclaimed her our queen. Lies. Gith made no such proclamation. Vlakith seized the Empire against the Mother's wishes. But Gith had nurtured a son, Orpheus, 
Prince of the Comet, the true heir. He knew Vlacket's treachery. Orpheus rallied Gith's honor guard and declared the throne for himself. The War of the Comet had begun. Disregard this, mm. this drivel. Gith declared Vlacketh queen of the Empire and her own son defied her. Orpheus would have ceded control to the Geich. And if it's true, it sounds like Vlacketh betrayed Gith and seized the throne. She did nothing of the sort. Thank your good fortunes, I'm a tolerant woman. <laughs> or I'd have sliced off a few toes for suggesting it. <laughs> Okay. The Road to Darkness. Well, the Road to Darkness. An epic tra tragedy about power, corruption, and loneliness. Lonely road. New sounds through the damp and dark oppression break. It is it the foe that foul, contemptuous heal? Or art thou friend? A rescue from a lonely way. Come out love come out of love for me. Not love for the blood and steel. How would I know? How would I know, Sword? It's been so long. What do I know of you and you of me? Oh god. Um, P.S. What happened to your face? I don't think this is boring. Dearest L Lenore, I'm not sure why- I'm not sure I should say this, but your last letter really worried me. Why in all hells would you tame a bullet? Girl, I don't know. Just because you found it near Myrna, Myrna's grave doesn't mean that that's a sign. I'm really worried about you, Lenore. A bullet is not a pet. Using it as a guardian is one thing, but the sound quite take but you sound quite taken by it. I know you don't want to come back before you finish your research, but if you are feeling lonely, you know my door is always open. Lots of loves, love and hugs, Amarith. P.S. It really warms my heart to hear that you put the autumn and crocus flowers on Myrna's grave. I remember she liked to roll around in them, even though she'd always sneeze after. She was such a soft, loyal dog. I wish there was more I could do. Oh, puppies. Or to a certain topic, we see any critical considerations between these pages. Surly or so would be a first glance. Once we push aside the mysticism and do we add sentiments? So I already know the destruction of our material form is not the end. If anything, our souls are more free after death. I, mean, I saw that book. I could rummage. Strangely low for a button. Strangely useless, too. Oh. Okay, let's go. You know these words. They are from the opening stanza of a play you found in this very tower. Or I'll art thou friend, a rescue from my lonely wake. Don't get me wrong. I love poetry as much as an ex wizard, but using it to command an automaton I mean, seems a bit self indulgent to me. <laughs> uh, who are you? What is this place? Of course, my love. Don't be afraid, sweet girl. What can I do? Sorry. Would you like a hug? I hate this. Uh, yeah. Come here. For just a moment. <laughs> His arms are too tight and too low for a comfortable hug. As if he's meant to be embracing someone slightly shorter. Remember, you are loved in all so much. You're doing great. Everyone will be so proud of you. Thank you. Okay. Still breathing, despite everything. Hello, my sweet. Y'all got nothing to say, huh? I'll say one thing for our troop. We're not short on drama. I'm glad Shadowheart and Lazel settled their differences peacefully. 
eventually. Hmm. All right. Um. I'll take that. Oh. One day I'll catch a break. Oh my God. Hatched parchment. These empty sheets are all that's left of you. The last of the thought, uh, thoughtless gifts you gave. I will hold on to them. It's all that I can do. I can't throw them away. I've never been that brave. Um. What do you mean by that? Ooh. Thank you. Huh. Command is if you do My lord, Rally, you do not believe the secret show. Reveal the truth. Do what you wish to see. Head out now. It was nice meeting you, Bernard. So, does this button do anything or what? Here goes nothing. Strange place for a button, especially one that doesn't. Strange place for a button. Mm. I don't like this music. All right, I think we're done everything that we needed to do here. I think what we could do now is go back to the Myconoid colony and do that thing with Omelion. So, um, Bernard there, you can kill him if you want. I could speak cast speak to this guy. Twitches in response to the spell, and you note its delicate filaments. It had been merely a child. How'd you die? Like its living counterparts, the corpse speaks in your mind. Burn. Great wars. Hurt. 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 Hmm. What do the Grey Dwarfs want? Doom. Death. They just want to kill Doom the gnomes? To grow. To know. To be one with the circle. Uh... Floating, knowing, seeing, hearing, all together, never apart. All right. Anyway, so you can kill Bernard, um, and I think he, like, depending on how you do the, the last answer that I didn't do, if you do that one, he attacks you. You don't really get anything else besides it if. You just get his weapon. I greet you, child of the sun. How has your search for the mushrooms fared? I, I, I found the mushrooms. These are fine specimens. It will only take me a moment to brew them to proper potency. Omelium turns away to prepare the potion. Omelium. Lost in its own musings. You must drink the entire draft. I can make no promises as to its taste. What exactly is this going to do to me? It will lower the psionic defenses around the lava. If I cannot remove it, 
I may still be able to tell you more about its origin. Okay. The potion is disgusting beyond description. The only mercy is that it goes down quickly. Ew. Not a drop left. Very good. As the potion influences your mind, you may find yourself acting irrationally. Try and stay focused. Okay. The world loses its edges, its finer boundaries. You are fluid, but trapped like a creature suspended in amber. Draw on your willpower and resist. Focus on the present, not the illusions. Okay. I don't really want to know what happens if I can't focus up. Isn't that what I just got? <laughs> like, please. A few sparks and colors dance around Omeluon, but you stay steady and staring ahead. The tadpole spasms, seizes. It's fighting the potion even harder Ew. than you are. Fear pierces your mind like knives of ice. The parasite digs deeper, as if it needs to hollow out your skull. Okay. It literally sabotaged me. I'm getting sabotaged, I fear. Go. Might as well we have four inspiration. The cold blades lose their edge. You are stalwart, turning that tide of fear against itself. The parasite swells with power. More power than you have ever felt before. It surges and twists, lashing out against that which would dare to intrude. <gasps> The parasite oh my god! Quiet. Why is he saying itself. that? Omeluum, are you well? That lava is like nothing I have ever observed before. Its power is unsettling. Ew. Uh, I felt it grow inside me. There's more power than ever. Such an outcome was not in my calculations. There is more to this being than mere stasis. So I went through all this then tadpole, so what's next? Cutting off my own head? I suppose it's not all bad. More power is better than less. Yet that power may grow beyond your control. I have another intermediate solution. If you are in need. I possess a ring of mind shielding. It prevents elder brains from noticing my presence. It will not remove the lava, mm. but it will limit its influence, both positive and negative. I would offer it as a gift, but in truth, the ring is priceless. Is there anything you could offer me in turn? Why didn't you mention the ring before the potion debacle? I have gold. No, I want the power. Keep your ring. Either give me the ring or I'll run you through. <laughs> because removal seemed preferable to negation. And I must admit, I was curious to study the tadpole myself. Uh... My I have gold, I don't know. Need of funding. Yes, I am willing to accept your coin. Alright. As well as it has served me. That could mean any number of things. Of course, the lava <laughs> remains. Okay. Be ever vigilant of its growth. 
Sure thing. I need to get rid of some shit. Alright, so that's the light. I don't need that. You have an advantage on saving thrones against charmed. Like, I don't really need this. But I can give it to my good friend Astarian here. Potentially more than friends. I greet you, son child. How did you escape your colony? I was born with a propensity for arcane magic my people despise. It gave me the strength to resist the Elder Brain. Every waking hour I pushed back against its dire hold. My wizardry empowered me. The moment its control shattered, I fled. Before the colony discovered, I had defected. How did you... how do you survive? You don't... don't you need brains? In the beginning, I had an arrangement with a lich. Excellent company, despite what one would expect. I required brains. He required souls. A perfect symbiosis. But our ambitions eventually splintered. I wished to better the world. And he preferred... It's rot. So I left his company. And thus, I now feed from those who... act against the society's goals. <laughs> Having them eat brains, like, really just... topped it off for me. Best way to deal with that sort of hunger, I suppose. Perhaps There's the no trusting a mind flare attack! The dark will be less inclined to violence if they comprehend the cost. Yes. Uh, yeah, if I thought I was gonna get my brainy and I would... Okay. Have you spoken with... Is he talking to me? Yes. She is cataloging court to an fertility ritual. What's on your mind? Well, perhaps after I finish my research... Speak. All right. All right, so is there anything? Okay, so the only thing that we have left to do down here is to go on that little boat to Yeah, go on the boat to go kill near free the deep gnomes and reach the adamantine forge and forge a weapon. Easy enough, right? <laughs> Let's move. Oh, oh, what happened? Yes. Oh my god, run, run, run. What to do? God damn it. Time I should have never traded. I, I messed up my thing again. Oh, we need to go talk to that one girl. Alright, let's go back by the one chick. We found her husband. So she should be saying thanks. Got my useless old man back. I suppose that's your doing. Sure is. His hands are empty as a whole. We'll have to send him back out soon enough. Savage. It's a miracle he survived. You should take him home. Seems like there's no love lost between the two of you. Now that's all. Tell me what you're really doing down here. Collecting noble stock. Valuable mushroom. We have a shop in Boulder's Gate. The locals go mad I don't for think it. I've seen any of that. What makes it so valuable? Really nothing it can't cure. Blindness, poison, hair loss. Oh. What did I get? The wearer deals an additional 1d4 damage with throw attacks and weapons made with improvised weapons. Oh. We'll be clearing out soon enough. You come across a noble stock mushroom about, you give it here. Gods know I've earned it. You've earned it? What about me? Um, all right, let's barter. My friend, Biberbag. Curious, beautiful, but dangerous. Next time, more careful next time, for certain. Thank you for your help. 
How did you get trapped to begin with? You must be a rare breed of, of fool to go wandering once river, river bang. I... Yeah, how'd you get trapped? I think I, uh... Uh, anyway, uh, what were you saying? This dude okay. How did you wind up trapped like that? Noble stock. Yes. Derek needs noble stock. Mushroom. Good stuff. Uh, and the ledge. Yes. I was on a ledge. Crumbled to bits. And you I fell without down. hitting any of the mushrooms? You must be keen on mushrooms if you're willing to brave the Underdark for the them. Shop. The shop needs all we find. Bone cloaks. Baldur's Gate. Anything from... Anything sourced here. Very high rate of profit. What is noble stock? Mushroom. Powerful. Did it once it for a brew. She's noble very good, stock. my did it. Very good at a brew. Are you feeling all right? It seems like you get confused. My, um, my words get away from me. You'll have to ask Derith. She knows the ins and outs. Oh, he's so nice. All right. Riverbank. Of course, it was Riverbank. Can I ask her what's wrong You'll with her man? Out soon enough. You come across a noble stock mushroom about you. All right. Anyway. Alrighty, guys, this is where I'm going to be ending this episode. Next episode, we are going to... I lied. Alright, we're going to end on a long rest because next we're going to the big Duggar gnome camp. And we're going to need to be fully rested for that. Um, plus, I like going to long, long rest. You never know what's going to happen. Very glad Shadowheart and Lazel settled things without letting any blood... I would have enjoyed the spectacle, but not losing either one of those lunatics. Yeah. Oh my god, Astari wants to talk to me again. <laughs> Every time he talks to me, I get more excited. Lady of Sorrows, guide us. Did you want something? No, I guess not. Let's talk to Astari again. Looking at something. Just looking. What are you doing? I'm looking too, but not seeing very much. Another quirk of my affliction. Do you miss it? Oh, sorry, I just smacked the mic. Do you miss it, seeing your own face? Preening in the looking glass. Petty vanity. Of course I miss it. <laughs> I've never even seen this face. Not since it grew fangs and my eyes turned red. You're not exactly. You have nothing to worry about. It's a very good face. What color were they before? I. What color I don't were they know. before? I can't remember. My face is just some dark shape in my past. Another thing I've lost. Hmm. What? <gasps> I'll be your mirror. What do you want to know? I see you. And what do you see? Exactly. I see someone wasting my time. Strong, piercing eyes. Oh. Go on. He loves flattery. That dangerous smile. <laughs> Now, just tell me I'm beautiful, and we can call it a day. <laughs> Not Gail good. You're beautiful. Observant. Mirrors aren't much use, but being reflected in someone else's eyes? Well, I could do worse. <laughs> Stop, so cute. Hello, my sweet. Hello, handsome. I was just wondering when you'd invite <laughs> I me shouldn't, back for a bite. But I shall. I really shouldn't because every time we do fucking any of like the checks, the minus one blood loss really be affecting me. Speak. I'm just trying to see if anybody's got anything to say, but it doesn't look like they do. Alright, anybody else want to talk to me before I go to bed? 
Y'all are good. Daddy Halson, you're doing all right? All right, great. Let's go to bed. I feel like we have a lot of food, right? I don't know. Oh no. Oh no! Oh, stop! You recognize the feathered creature. It's no. the owl bear cub you rescued. Hi! Attack him. Catch a piece of food from your bag. Oh, everybody approves. The cub's eyes lock onto the food in your hand. Ah. Uh. What a delectable little pet. Oh, sorry you scared it. Oh, now look. You've scared off the little snack. <laughs> Stop. You scared him. Oh. Hope he comes back. <sighs> Oh, I hope he comes back. Scratch. Come here, Scratch. The dog is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. Oh. I don't know as I thought of you when I saw it. Stop. He's so sweet. You're oh, such a good puppy. Good dog. Good doggy. All right, a bone. Anyway, that is where I'm going to end today's episode, you guys. We got a full nice rest and we had a little um, unexpected little night visitor. I got very nervous. I was expecting something scary to happen, but it ended up being a little owl bear. And I hope that I didn't, my last playthrough, I didn't get the owl bear. I didn't even see the owl bears at all, but um, so I hope that he's not scared off for good. A starian scared it away. Um, so I hope that the little baby comes back because it doesn't have his mommy. So I feel so bad for it. But we um, went to the tower. We left Bernard alive this time around. My last playthrough, I killed him. But that's because he attacked me. But we went to the tower. We did everything there. Amelion, Amelion, whatever. Tried to get the tadpole out of my head. Obviously, it didn't work. Next time, we're going to hit that little boat to the Dwegar camp, save some gnomes, kill some drow. And I think then we'll be done with the Underdark. And I think we'll be pretty much done with everything in this area. We'll be able to move on to Moonrise Towers. So I'm very, very excited about that. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.